welcome to another one of our new recipes. I'm going to be showing you how to make a South Indian bridge guard with mushroom in a coconut milk grain. It's purely South Indian and the ingredients that you need to make the curry are one and a half um, red onion, it's finely chopped and then one tomato, again finely chopped and I have taken out the skin of the rich guard and have dark <coughs> some julienne with it and then there's the mushrooms that I washed and cut and we have here some warm uh, fresh coconut milk that I made with some fennel seeds um, this is about a cup of coconut milk it's all good and warm to go and we have some coconut oil that we're going to be using and I have ground like maybe 10 to 20 leaves, mint leaves with um, half an inch of ginger and two green chilies. This is our uh, sauce to add into the curry and we have mustard seeds, some turmeric powder and curry powder. And then in the mortar I have ground cumin seeds, one teaspoon, some um, a half a teaspoon of pepper and a quarter teaspoon of coriander seeds. And then we have a sapotida and salt to taste. So now, now, now we're going to look how to make the curry. So in a medium saucepan, uh, turn on the heat. Now you can see our mustard seeds are slowly splattering away and once you see the mustard seeds opening up, then you should add your curry. Yes, you We'll be adding in our mushrooms. 
As you could see, I'm adding like a whole pack of mushrooms that you get in Whole Foods uh, or any safe or uh, any store. So this should be uh, good for about people of four. This could be as a side dish for rotis, chapatis, naan, rice and also for bread or anything like that. So now we will add the mushroom and the rich guard cook will be adding some more salt. To this we will be adding the ground paste which I have already made. This is made out of at least 20 leaves, mint leaves and two green chilies and a quarter inch of ginger. And you grind it to a fine paste using a mixer. And you can add that. And to this mixture, I mean to the curry now, we will be adding some turmeric powder. We are going to be adding some ground cumin seeds, seeds which is a finely chopped, finely ground. For about 10 minutes. Once it's finely cooked, then we'll be finally adding our coconut. Once uh, the vegetables are all done cooked in the curry, and at the end we'll be adding some coconut. Now we'll be reducing the flame and closing it with the lid. Enjoy this dish. Uh, it goes well with dosas, idlis, and rotis. Thank you. You could see our dish is all complete. The curry is ready, ready to be served and eaten. Um, you could eat it with rotis, rice, and idlis and dosas. As you could see, uh, it is a very thin curry. It's more like compared to the bread curry or the green curry in Thai food. Um, it's the same consistency as that. Um, hope you enjoy this recipe. See you soon.